Okay, in the last couple of uh, tutorial videos for NICE Memberships Extension for Joomla 1.6 and 1.7, we showed you how to kind of get everything set up and ready to go to start selling uh, memberships uh, or enrollment into Joomla user groups. Uh, the only thing we haven't covered so far that's critical is how to show the membership items or buttons to the end user. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We have membership A and membership B already, and the very most easiest way to uh, show the user what you got for sale is to go to the uh, the front end and go to the um, nice memberships component default view and that that's going to list everything that's available to the visitor for subscription now the base URL for that is um, you know your domain and then index question mark options equals com nice memberships now if you have SEF running or something like that this URL will change when you go to that that page and we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and click over I got another tab open with that view already available so you see just by creating new membership items we've already put some in uh, in the in the list so we've got our membership a and we've got the description and the subscription button and membership B and the description uh, for that and the subscription button. Now you can control whether the um, title and description show on this page the settings a little bit different because you have to go to a different spot. Um, it's not controlled in the item. The item actually um, show title, show item description options in the item record is for the nice memberships buttons which we'll get to in just a second. So if we come back over here and we go to settings, you'll see current memberships. That's uh, if the person has a current membership, it'll show here uh, along with the other optional memberships that they can subscribe to. And we've got available memberships, right? So here's your title. And here is the introductory paragraph here. And we can choose to not show the item names or the item description. If I come up here and say save and refresh, you just get the subscription buttons. Now, this is kind of silly not to show the item titles at least, so we'll go ahead and turn that back on. And come back here, and we have just the item titles. Okay. So that's the, the basic long and short for that. Now I'm going to show you real quick how to set up a, um, a membership item for sale in an article. <clears throat> now I, I click back to the um, Nice Memberships Items page where we got Membership A and Membership B. And right here, this is a really important column here, the ID column. You notice there's a 1 and a 2. Now in your article, you're going to place a button tag, which will get replaced by the subscription button. Now that tag has a number in it and that corresponds to the ID number so uh, of the item that you want to list so in this case one is in reference to membership A if I change this to two that'll be in reference to membership B now I'll go ahead and put this in an article and show you how it works so we're gonna come over here to article manager and new and we'll call this nice member Whoops memberships and we're going to let everybody have access to this and we're going to put our tag right here and that's for item membership one and we're going to say save oh and just for fun we're going to go ahead and put this as a featured item so it's easy for us to find and after saving that we're going to go to the home page and refresh and there's our membership. There's our new article. And this was where the tag was, the button tag. It all got replaced, or the button tag all got, got replaced by all this stuff. Now we can control whether this stuff is shown, the title and the description, in the membership item by coming over here and going into the membership and just saying, well, I don't want the title shown, and then say save and close. We'll go back to our page and refresh, and now the title's gone. We can do the same thing with the description. 